Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in New Orleans, Louisiana and I am visiting the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas. Now face masks are required to be inside at all times. Just got out of the gift shop and I just got my hat. If you are familiar with my channel, I always get a hat everywhere I go. It helps support the establishment that I'm visiting. It also gives me a nice cheap souvenir. It was uh, $17, which isn't bad at all. So we're gonna get started here, see what we can see. The Ocean Treasures gift shop is just inside the entryway, and this is where I got my hat. I will check this out right before I leave. It's the prices for the aquarium. I got my ticket online. Reservations are required for time to entry. Along the ceiling you see all the sharkies. And we're gonna start right this way on the left. The aquarium has two different floors. You start off on the first floor. It's a one-way path. Then we'll end up on the second floor. The first exhibit will be seeing the Maya. Oh yeah. Here we go. Atraviesa el portal Manco y entra en el mundo submarino de la Gran Barrera Maya. Excuse me, do you have any moisturizer? My hands are cracking. You know, it appears is so important. This is awesome. Apparently got their name because they're always looking down. Hello, amigos. Let me say first, you walk. Wow, we very silvery looking. Man, it's I'm older than your own years. I hope you enjoy the variety of beautiful creatures that my culture uses in life and art. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this tank. Luckily, it's nice and cool in here. 
So you can either go up the stairs or the escalator. Since I'm holding my camera, I'm gonna go up the escalator and make it a little bit easier to show you. The room that we are going into, and I do hear some parrots. Ooh, all right. There we go. See some red taco, oscillated river stingray. Uh, these red taco are huge. It's the oscillated river stingray. They got the spots on them. There's a giant catfish in there too with them. So he wasn't on the sign. The design of this area is awesome though. Look at this place. Wow. This is fantastic. Yeah, so yeah, we got red tailed catfish and white blotched river stingray. I'm sorry, that was the black with the white stripes, or white spots rather, and then the red paku. You can see the red tailed catfish. And the paku. There we go. Got this other tank. A shallow flooded forest. There's some silver dollar. Sipak Petra. And peppered quarry. I think I spooked them a little bit. It's the same tank, just different view. We got a fast moving stream. We see some rip saw catfish and some oscar. Yeah, we got some definitely fast moving stream. You gotta be a good swimmer to be in here. Very strong current. Got a yellow anaconda in the water here. Called River's Edge. And our yellow anaconda. Very good swimmers. Got this tank called Deep Flooded Forest. We got Red Belly Piranha. We got a skeletal of a piranha. You see, their scales are very reflective and give a silvery shine to them. Some of the bitty little fishies in here. Get some chestboard cichlid. Glow like tetra. And silver hatch fish. And panda catfish. Any of these things are. Okay. This little 
be in here. Take those catfish moves up on the glass. And then a shovel move. Macaw and blue and gold macaw. We get a green wing macaw right above us. Yeah, we're gonna go to the treetop loop right up these stairs. To get up higher, you get all of the vines hanging down. Very strong, earthy, musty smell up in this area. This is above the waterfall. Various little bridges you cross over. Vantage all around. Blue and gold. Parrot right over here. Macaw. The higher up vantage point. You can see just how amazing this area looks. The Green Kingdom. View of the waterfall. There we go. And was just by it. You get this nice little bird, birdie here. Amazon at Paradise and Peril. what's happening. All right, we're gonna go through these doors to continue. See some of their filtration systems and pipe work they have to keep the aquarium water suitable for the animals. This is a sand filter. Similar to what you would have on a swimming pool. Penguins! It's penguin feeding time too! These are African penguins. These are not Arctic penguins, they don't need it to be super cold. these type of penguins in several different zoos. Not by himself. We got projection on the walls. We got shark discovery. This way next. See, we are on the second floor. It's above the main entrance. We saw the sharks hanging up. So the touch tanks are currently unavailable. It's all empty. Seahorses. We've got this really nice long tank. 
what's in here. seahorse when they are dark colored. It's about the seahorses in their protective status. And this other tank here. And these are called lined seahorse. seahorses. These are the species of seahorses I most see in aquariums. Go. See where they get their name. It's the male seahorses that actually carry the young with them. Deep Dorado, California Moray Eel. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. Amazing how long these guys are. Other otter, southern sea otter. Several different species of otters. Trying to find them. This is an additional area for the otters. You see the separation gate is currently closed, so they are confined to one area right now. 
These are southern sea otters. Wow. Wow. Hey. Hippo. So, Did you have a concession stand? This is the aquarium's menu if you are hungry or thirsty. Right inside the cafe area. Alright, gonna check out the Mississippi River area. The Easy Inn and Alligators. King of the Swamp. A white gator. There is the white gator. Look at that. Very nice. Now I've seen several other white gators, different places throughout my travels. He's looking right at me. Big toothy grin. Really cool if he waved hi to us. Alright, guys, some an alligator guards. The fish you will find in the rivers and the streams. So we're going to find in this tank here. We got a turtle. All right. Get some large mouth bass. Channel catfish, white drum. Smallmouth bash, blue catfish, and carpy. So the alligator guards. There's also some channel catfish in here with them. We got a red-tailed hawk. That is fantastic. Red tailed hawk right here. And right out the window you see the Mississippi River. Sportsman's Paradise. Some bluegill. Got this big tank here underneath the boardwalk. So we're going to see. Paddlefish are cool looking. Second fish. What's right here? Oh boy. We had a surgeon fish. Or sturgeon. Look at his nose. 
Okay, lake sturgeon are huge also. Yeah, paddlefish. That is so cool looking. Living fossils. Freshwater meets seawater. I got a barred owl right up here above the rock. I got a couple duckies. Enjoying the water along with the fish. Passing through. There's some cute ducks. These fish are just chasing each other. Them and it's like I've seen better days. And the broken windows. It's like a real cabin. Alright, back down the steps. Wow, look at this. Some trikies. Sand tiger shark. Southern stingray. Brown shark. Nurse shark. Green sea turtle. Sea, sea turtle. And the sharks. The other stuff we're going to see in this tank. Some sea turtle. Oh, this is fantastic. And enemies. One of those enemy looks like a little arm sticking out with a tentacly hand. So nice. And we've got some jellyfish. These are 
Pacific Sea Nettle. Much smaller version of the jellies that Nemo that Marlin and Dory bounced on in the first Finding Nemo movie. We got all of these of upside down jellies. So interesting looking. Atlantic Sea Nettle. So they're really small, but their tentacles that hang out can go really, really long. These are fun jellies to look at. These are moon jellies. They are translucent. So cool looking. A single jellyfish tentacle can have thousands of tiny nematocysts. The nematocysts fire automatically, stinging whatever they happen to bite. So what about the dangers of plastic bags? Out in the oceans because the sea turtles think they are eating their food source and they end up ingesting the plastic bags because they resemble the jellyfish that they normally eat. Nurse sharks down the bottom. No rays floating by or flying by. It's a side view of that big, huge tank with all of the sharks. See when they're swimming by. All right, right before I exit, I'm going to show you the inside of Ocean Treasures Gift Shop where I got my hat this morning when I first got here. I'm just going to give you a real quick overview of all the different stuff you can get here. And we got cheaper items. See, aquariums are very popular with school groups, church groups, summer camps and the like so they typically have cheaper items for the kids to buy and all you can hear but they also have a plethora of plush all the different sea creatures get yourself a fuzzy shark and of course, they have all sorts of shirts. These are kid size. This is the hat rack where I got my hat this morning. They got different sizes. Lots of different shirts and sweatshirts. Books and toys. Even got clothing for the toddlers and babies. And for the youngsters. All sorts of activity and educational books. And of course, you have different shirts for adults. I got my hat, so that's the only souvenir I'll be getting from here. And of course, you can have all sorts of different items for the home. Additional toys for the kids. All right, so I am outside, so I no longer have to wear my face mask. So I hope you guys enjoyed my visit 
to the New Orleans Audubon Aquarium of the Americas. I had a fun time here. It's not a super large aquarium, but they have a nice selection of aquatic life. Got to see an albino alligator, a couple cool other animals. So if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what your favorite animal was here. I appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.